Now this ought to melt you, please. Yippee! Said what? This appears to be a brass object used to secure portals and containers from unlawful entry. Yeah, and this one happens to be exactly what we need. Hi, Key. Do you belong to somebody? I bet you do. No way! I simply refuse to get my fingers messy. Help me out, Fuldrick! You know about that? You found it. To be honest, I didn't think you had the smarts to ever find it. Um, thanks. I guess. Ooh. Well, let's get to the stable. I'm freezing my keister off. It's freaking cold out. There you go, Buttercup. Meet, uh, what was your name again? Modern de Lafitte, of the Parisian de Lafitte's, opera singer and par arts graduate. Yeah, that's great. Anyway, meet Mona. You belong to her now. <laughs> Quit your kvetching and get out of here before I sell you to the glue factory. Merci. Throw a snowball at it. Maybe I can cover it up. A snowball fight where the target can't fight back? Those are my kind of odds. You hit it pretty good and it's stuck, but it looks like the snowball isn't gonna work. I don't want to carry it around. It's so cold and wet. Like my nose. Feel it. Ugh, no! But I will keep this snowball in mind just in case. This will add a little color to you. He looks like a charcoal flavored snow cone. I'm going to throw a snowball at it. Maybe I can cover it up. fight where the target can't fight back? Those are my kind of odds. I've seen better arms on a chair, but it looks like you got the job done. The black inky snowball covered it up pretty good. What's 
wrong, Mona? The door's open. What are you waiting for? Head on in. I can't. For some reason, I can't cross the threshold of the doorway. I wonder if this has anything to do with the fact that you are currently life-challenged. Life-challenged? Just trying to be polite. I know it's a bit of a touchy subject. Oh, you with your silly vampire theories. It's only a curse. That is, until I find a way to cure myself. Okay, so maybe the fact that you can't enter the store has something to do with the fact that you're a walking corpse. Uh, I mean, you're a vampire. It's the open and close sign for the store. It says they are closed right now. The sign says, Sorry, Stoker's dress I shop is closed. The pork chops now. Let's see what this says on the other side. Surprise, surprise! Instead of closed, it says open. Wow, that one really caught me off guard. sign says I'm afraid I don't have my reading glasses y yes uh, it says yes we are open please come in I wonder how that got turned around oh well that did it Fodrick I suddenly feel different I feel I can walk into this shop now pretty sneaky sis uh, I mean Mona it's a sewing machine what are the odds of finding it here, in a dress shop? If only we had the time. Perhaps later. No, I'd better not turn it on. I haven't used a sewing machine since that time I sewed two old dresses together in a dramatic last minute attempt to make my own prom dress. It's a dress made for a toddler. Oh. And it's so cute! You are the cutest little baby dress? I had one like you when I was just a baby. Me too. That dress might come in handy for something. I better not take it now, but I'll keep it in mind just in case. It looks like a wedding dress that has seen better days. It looks like the font may have been burned a little. What does that tag on the corner say? It says, Property of Miss Havisham. Burn, huh? Must have been a heck of a wedding. Poor dress. You only get used once. I should be so lucky. I don't want to take anything from these people unless I have to. It's a pair of toy muskets. What's wrong, Fodrick? I'm just disappointed. For a second there, I thought maybe we were gonna get to shoot somebody. Do you feel lucky, Mona? Well, do ya? I don't play with toys. But I'm glad to see that these toy guns are put up away from the children. Children should really only play with dolls. Yeah, I agree. Especially if you want your kids to be made fun of by other kids who do get to play with toy guns. It's a very fat man who seems not at all motivated to do anything for himself. Don't put your fingers too close to his plate. You might lose a couple. I'll probably regret this, but may I ask you a couple of questions? Yeah, why the hell not? Why are you so rude to your wife? Sometimes you need to put a woman in her place, which is sure to be in the kitchen grabbing me another beer. Why aren't you working? I'm out on a disability. 
I have a mental anguish over having to work more than six straight hours. It nearly drove me mad. And I think I may have a permanent mental damage. No argument there. How come you drink so much? Have you seen my kids? <laughs> Need I say more? Don't you think you should be nicer to your wife? Ah, uh, don't you think you should be nicer to me, eh? Uh, perhaps we could continue this uh, discussion over a bottle of wine at a local tavern, I know. <laughs> Low lights, uh, music, private booth, <laughs> but lose the bat. You're disgusting! I think I better go before I do something that I'll regret. Don't worry, baby. You can do whatever you want. I promise. I won't regret it after. <laughs> Too bad Inky ate our mace. I have a desire to bury it in the top of his head. It's the door to the kitchen. Door, would you please close and lock yourself? You have to be firm with doors. Asking them nicely never works. They're just so thick. I'll just shut this no, door no, for it. No, no, no! Please, leave that door open. I, I need it to stay open in order to better serve my husband and children. So never, ever shut this door. I think she means it. It's the kitchen. My, there are a lot of dishes stacked up in there. Yes, I, I'm reorganizing my collection of Draxylvanian limited edition missing persons dishes. <laughs> Each one has a lovely hand-painted image painstakingly hand-painted by a bereaved family member of the missing person. They make lovely Christmas presents. I plan to sell them door to door to make a little extra cash on the side when I'm not so busy. Not sure when that will be. Hello in there! Anyone else in there? No one else! Just me. I don't have any hired help. What would I need them for? Excuse me, miss. Can we speak with you for a moment? A moment is about all I have! 